Minneapolis, last March, Denny Crum, coach of champion Louisville, receives congratulations from UCLA's Larry Brown. The Cardinals, led by Daryl Griffith, had beaten UCLA 59-54 for the NCAA championship. It's a new season, Louisville filling the pressure of being champion. Last week, at Oklahoma State, the Cardinals beaten on this dramatic shot at the buzzer by Eddie Hannon of Oklahoma State, seeking their first win. Louisville plays its first home game today. NBC Sports and TBS present the best in college basketball. Today, the unbeaten and fourth-ranked Terrapins of Maryland meet the defending national champion, Louisville Cardinals. This game is brought to you by Brow. When you want the taste of a truly great beer, there's really only one. Tonight, let it be Brow by Chevrolet and your Chevrolet dealers from coast to coast. And by Texaco, with over 66,000 employees doing their best at their jobs to keep your trust. Freedom Hall, Louisville, Kentucky, a sellout to welcome home the national champion Louisville Cardinals. This is the first time they played on their home court since winning the championship in Indianapolis last March. Hello everyone, I'm Dick Kenberg and welcome to a new season of college basketball on NBC all the way to the national finals in Philadelphia in late March. With me again, Coach Al McGuire and Billy Packer. Louisville starts today 0-3. They're in a drought, they're on a downward spiral. They've got to build up their confidence somewhere. They found out that winning a national championship is not as difficult as defending a national championship. They had to replace the pressure situation, the ball player. They're missing Dr. Duncanstein. Who's going to get the ball at the end of the game is their problem. All right, that's for Louisville looking for its first win. They have a 25-game winning streak at home. Billy Packer, the Maryland Terrapins, 5-0, but they've beaten only one ranked team, Syracuse. Maybe so, Dick, but this team is for real. It's an outstanding club. Unknown quantity at this time last year. Certainly a national power now. Lefty said he'd make it UCLA in the East. Maryland might be that, and they'll know who to go to. King Albert. Albert King, the All-American, will also see two members of the U.S. Olympic team, Buck Williams for Maryland and Rodney McRae of the Louisville Cardinals. A great way to tip off the basketball campaign. Louisville and Maryland, the lineup's in just a moment. Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special. The Frank, forth, this is Rally Leader. You out there, Chuck? And we're pedaling as fast as we can. <laughs> Everybody else is here. Where are you? Well, we've got ourselves sort of a weight handy here. How'd that happen? You guys just brought the bread and cheese. We got a whole trunk full of lone brown. When you want the taste of a truly great American beer, tonight, let it be low and brown. Well, we're glad you made it. Oh, okay. Bust of the low and brown. This thief knows more about the value of your silver than you do. That's why there's an alarming number of silver thefts today. Unfortunately, most homeowners' policies limit coverage to just $1,000. The Hartford can help by showing you ways to make certain your silver coverage keeps pace with its full value. To protect your business, home, auto, life, call an independent agent who represents the Hartford for a quote. The Hartford, let us protect your world. John Burns joined the Army in March and kept us waiting until October. Kathy Wolf joined the Army in May and kept us waiting all summer. If you're a high school graduate or about to be, you can join the Army now and take up to 12 months to report for duty. That way, if you qualify, we can guarantee you the skill training that makes you happiest. And we think a happy soldier is worth waiting for. This is the Army, a chance to serve your country as you serve yourself. Call this number toll free. Information. Business is besieged by it. All kinds of equipment have been required to manage it. Until now. Now, with Wang's new integrated information system, one person very simply can perform data processing, word processing, high-speed image printing, and worldwide communication. If Wang can create all this today, who knows what the future holds? Wang, making the world more productive. Good. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Kentucky Fair and Exposition Center in Freedom Hall for the thrill and excitement of college basketball as the NCAA champions, the University of Louisville Fighting Cardinals, host the University of Maryland Terrapins. And now introducing the starting lineups. First, the University of Maryland, wearing number 55, a forward 6'6", 
He is a senior from Brooklyn, New York, uh, Albert uh, King. Number 25, a forward 6'7", uh, a senior from Baltimore, Maryland, uh, Ernest uh, Graham. Number 52, at center, 6'8", a junior from Rocky Mount, uh, North Carolina, Buck Williams. Number 15, guard, 6'4", a junior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Reggie Jackson. At the other guard, number 10, 6'1", a senior from Vicebeer, Pennsylvania, Greg Manning. And the Terrapins head coach, Charles Lefty Drazell. And now, the NCAA champions, the University of Louisville Cardinals. Number 43, at forward, 6'6", six, six, a junior from Hopensville, Georgia, Derrick Smith. At forward, number 41, 6'8", a junior from Sylvester, Georgia, Wiley Brown. Number 22, at center, 6'7", a sophomore from Mount Vernon, New York, Rodney McCray. Number 5, at guard, 6'4", a junior from Louisville Ballard, Jerry Eves. And at the other guard, number 21, 6'9", a sophomore, from Mount Vernon, New York, Carlton Scooter McCray. And the head coach for the defending national champions, Denny Crum. So it's Louisville of the Metro Conference and the Atlantic Coast Conference unbeaten Terrapins of Maryland. We'll be back with the opening tip-off on college basketball in just a moment. There's a Chevy up ahead. Hey, hey, that's a Chevy up ahead. Chevy Chevette, America's best-selling small car, offers a big increase in its EPA-estimated gas mileage over last year. Up to 30 miles a gallon. Chevette's now got the big 3-0. 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. Chevette's now got the big 3-0. Hey, hey, there's a Chevy up ahead. Up ahead. <laughs> Let me tell you something about blue jeans. You get in the jam up here and you got real problems. That's why I always go for the best tools, like this saw and my Levi's blue jeans. You see, tree bark will chew through most anything, but these jeans bite right back. And Levi's blue jeans got a fit that's made for work, and that's real important when the changing room's 200 feet down. The officials today at Freedom Hall, Charlie Vaca, Dennis Bishop is the referee, and Lenny Wirtz. Actually, while two represent the Metro Conference and Wirtz from the ACC, all three of these men work throughout the country from the southwest to the southeast, the Big Ten, the Metro. A good crew, and we're ready to go. The Terrapins in red, Jackson and Manning in the back court. And jumping center, it'll be Buck Williams against Rodney McRae, two U.S. Olympic team members last year, or actually this summer, and they'll get it started in Freedom Hall today. Some to watch, Albert King, the All-American, Greg Manning, the guard, number 10 for Maryland, has made 15 straight field goals. That's an all-time ACC and Maryland record. We'll watch him. Out of bounds to whom? They'll jump it again. Pretty obvious that uh, Buck Williams knocked that ball out of bounds, but they're going to jump it up again. Williams at 6'8", McRae 6'7". Controlled by Maryland, Williams, and we'll introduce the players for you. Albert King is 55, Richie Jackson 15, here's Manning, he has the streak going, 15 in a row. King off to Jackson. It's a good shooting team, stolen by Wiley Brown, but he was over the shoulder and making the play. Dick, some great matchups individually out there. Ernie Graham and Wiley Brown. That'll be a real battle. Then you got Derek Smith and Albert King. These are two of the most talented teams at those positions in the country. 
Louisville, but they're also certainly one of the best rebounding teams in the country. I think Louisville might be the best rebounding team in the country. Sold out of bounds, 2-3. Albert King, not there. Rebound comes back to Graham for a 10-footer. Oh, Maryland oh, leads as Graham was in the right spot as two Louisville then knocked the ball away from one another. That's the way it's been going for the Cardinals. Jerry Eves with the ball. They miss Daryl Griffith. They're looking for their new leader, as Al McGuire indicated on our pregame setup. Not surprising to see Maryland in a very passive zone. Louisville hasn't shown they can find a guy to stick it from 15 feet. Scooter McRae. Gary Smith. The foul is on Smith for charging. Dick, you see right there, we talk about that little 12 to 15 foot shot against the zone. Derek Smith had it in the heat, went inside to try to get an easier shot through the charge. Second foul on Louisville. Maryland with a 2 nothing lead against some backcourt pressure. The 2-2-1 two -two pressing zone of the court. Let's see what happens when they get the ball over the 10 second line. That's what Coach uh, McGuire said about how to beat Maryland in a national magazine. Rebound, Rodney McRae. Here comes Eves the other way. That broke Manning's string at 15. That's where he likes to shoot from. Wiley Brown. Knocked away by Richie Jackson right into the Louisville bench. Dick, there's tremendous pressure on Louisville. They're 0-3, the national champ. They're trying too hard. They're trying to force the shot in there. What they do need is to set them down and force. They've got to get on the board. They need their first point, and they also need their first win. They've been guilty of 25 turnovers per game in their first three games, Louisville. Eves, Walker, Smith. I think you'll see Scooter take the first shot from the outside. This is McRae off to Eves. Not there. McRae gets the rebound. Rodney into Wiley Brown. Oh, it. It's tied at two. Excellent leaping on the inside by Louisville. Manning to Jackson. Ernie Graham. Saved by Jackson. Good play by Reggie Jackson. Outstanding save. Oh, Graham charging as Wiley Brown did a little acting. Wiley Brown's a very powerful fellow. He kept his feet on the ground that time. You're going to see in Ernest Graham, a guy at 6'7", that can do magic with that ball. This is the four ways I said to beat Louisville in early National uh, Magazine. Well, not pressuring their guards. Eves comes down, a 2-2 tie. We played two minutes and 15 seconds. Derek Smith, part of that Georgia connection. Smith and Brown, juniors, both from Georgia. There's Brown, not there. Rebound, Graham to Jackson. Maryland on the run. Off Beautiful to Graham. Pass. Beautiful feed to Manning, and Maryland leads 4-2. to two. Dick, so many of these kids in the American, Maryland club can handle the ball in the open court area. That's the key to their success offensively, the running game. And Graham at 6-7, handling it like a 5-7 guard. Derek Smith ties it up at four. He's the leading scorer for Louisville, averaging 19 a game. That Almost pass. stolen by Smith. Now it's five on three. Manning, good shooter. Not there. Rebound Eve. Louisville looking for the first lead. Out of bounds to Maryland. Uh, Billy, it was a bad pass as far as leading to a big fall with the bounce pass. There's that there high score. See, right, you see Manning using the backboard very well to get that shot off. Now, both of these presses have been very passive, and the teams are trying to go over the top. Manning normally will hit that shot down in the corner. Buck Williams, Albert King against Brown. He scores. Albert King's first bucket at 6-4 to four, Maryland. I think it'd be a good idea for Louisville to take that press off because Maryland getting a lot of open shots against him. Louisville open defense of his championship by being defeated by the Paul. And Scooter McRae tying it up. McRae was out all last year with knee surgery. Man to man defense that time. Scooter McRae at 6'9 just took Jackson in the hole. That's the first time Maryland went into a man to man. Reggie Jackson, game even at six. That's more will also play a lot at that guard position. He and Reggie Jackson will share duties. Almost a steal by Smith. King inside to Buck Williams. It's eight to six. Maryland getting four buckets from four different players. 
It's not unusual for them. They have eight guys on the squad that have scored over 16 in their career. So they've got a lot of fellas that can go to the hoop. There's McCray again trying to go down inside on Jackson. A whistle away from the ball. Albert King. On Albert King trying to ward off the break underneath. This game is going to be decided on the foul line. There's too much bulk out there. They're pushing and shoving. Drain down this end. is backing in Wiley Brown. It's just the opposite down the other end. So the game ends on the foul line. Timeout. We've played four and a half minutes, and Maryland leads here in Louisville by two. Instant photography by Kodak and the gift. Right here. The Kodak Colorburst 250 Instant Camera captures the colors of Christmas with a built-in electronic flash and bright, brilliant cover by Kodak. Everybody get close. This one's going on top. A gift of instant memories from Kodak. Excuse me. I'm not the same crazy coach who used to storm around the sidelines yelling at the officials. I've learned to relax, and I drank light beer from Miller. Do you know that light's got a third less calories than a regular beer? And listen to this, light doesn't fill me up. Besides that, light tastes fantastic. Oh, sure, there are a lot of other beers around, and you can drink any one you want. But let me tell you this. For light my beer way, from Miller, I everything you always wanted in a beer, now. and less. As I was saying, I don't care what anybody else... Hey! You're driving half a car! To prove Haviland Supreme gives cars engine protection up front. I know, but... Well, you should know. It delivered proven protection and punishing state trooper testing. Yeah, but... Where's the rest of my car? Yeah. Here it comes. To prove Texaco's Haviland Supreme delivered improved mileage, too. Up front protection backed by improved mileage. That's Haviland Supreme. Do me a favor. I know. Prove how good Haviland is in the next county, huh? All right. NBC is going to bowl you over as top quarterback Arch Leister leads Ohio State against Joe Paterno's Penn State Nittany Lions on December 26th in the Fiesta Bowl. A reminder, this is part of the big NBC Sports doubleheader on this Saturday. After basketball, it'll be NFL 80, followed by Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks. Actually, uh, it's uh, San Diego and, and Seattle, although the copy reads Denver. Beautiful, Beautiful pass by Derek Smith. Seeing some excellent ball handling inside. They stay in that 2-2-1 full court zone press. Look for Manning and King to get loose down on the sidelines. Eight to six. Maryland leading here at Freedom Hall, Louisville, Kentucky. Inside Albert King. Not there. Rebound. Look at that. Ooh. And that's nine straight field goals made by Buck Williams as he's after Manning's new record. You cannot let Buck Williams have an inside position because if he gets the ball, that's all she wrote. Notice rebound. Maryland goes back down to the zone again. One, two, two. They went in man to man for just two times down the court. Stolen by Reggie Jackson, but a foul is called on Jackson, his first. Let's go back to Buck Williams. He's averaging nearly 13 rebounds a game. He has excellent timing. Dave Gavitt said early that this one of the guys that he wanted on that Olympic team, he's an excellent positioner on both boards. Only a junior from Rocky Mount, North Carolina, same city that or town that produced Phil Ford, the great All-American in North Carolina. And he plays much bigger than a six-foot eight. He certainly does. It was the shortest center in the ACC. Derek Smith averaging nearly 19 a game. He now has four, and it's 10 to 8, Maryland. Make it 10-9. The Metro coaches said Derek Smith is the player of the year this year. Potential. Notice how Maryland's not trying to force the ball up against that zone defense, looking for the corner. Oh, Off the foot of Graham, but luckily right to Buck Williams. He, there goes his streak at nine. Long pass to Eves. Can't hit it. Derek Smith, oh. foul. Nice play by Derek Smith. He hesitated, he waited to get fouled, and then went up. A beautiful hidden body fake. Uh, Derek Smith will have a chance to tie it up. Two free throws. Now Excellent free throw, hustle. Their free throw shooting is atrocious. Here we see. Good play by Jackson going up there. Eves tries to hang. Here's good hustle by Derek Smith. He came all the way from under the basket. Ran the full 85 feet. Ends up going the line with two. 
Louisville, as we told you earlier, has not shot well from the free throw line their first three games. They've shot just 53%. Although Derek Smith hitting a little better than some of his teammates, he's hitting 10 of 18. Last year, a 70% shooter. This first one's very important because making foul shots is streaky. Makes it 10 to 9. Nick, you've got Pittman and Morley in the game, so that's the first subs we're seeing from either team. Morley wears 21 for Maryland, and Pittman, 32. That's Pittman with a rebound. He's also from Rocky Mount, North Carolina. They're producing a lot of great basketball talent. 10-9, Maryland with the ball and the lead. We've played six minutes here at Freedom Hall, Louisville, Kentucky. That's Morley, good assist, man. Good switch, and we've got the three out here on Morley, a little mismatch. Inside to Pittman. They didn't believe one of their problems was Jake, that they didn't play aggressive defense. They're playing aggressive defense for the first seven minutes of this game. No basket. Indeed, Louisville's Denny Crum has really been on the whip trying to get his team to believe they've got to work 100%. He told us yesterday they won the championship last year because they played all out all the time, and they thought they could maybe give a little less this year, and they've been taught a rude lesson. They've lost three in a row. Well, he said at practice they were going to two-thirds speed, and in the game they tried to go fast 100% speed. It just didn't work. They've got to go and practice 100%. Thought it was funny that the players accused Denny Drum was kind of a laid-back guy of being Bobby Knight in practice. <laughs> Buck Williams short. Oh, Pittman grabbed the rim. Pittman gave it, gave, kept it alive, and that's Wiley Brown to Derek Smith. Good move by oh, Smith. Move. Out to Morley. 10 to 9. Maryland leads it. Long pass to Albert King. Inside Beautiful to pass. Buck Williams, and he scores. Oh, Can't let Buck have that position, Billy. Well, you see everybody on Maryland's club looking for the open man, which is one of the keys to their success. Brown had it knocked away, gets it back and hits. 12 to 11, Maryland's lead is cut to one. Four points for Brown. Denny's got to love the hustle on the part of his club so far in the first half. Oh, Albert tough King. shot. Buck Williams follows. No basket. Lenny Wirt says no basket, a foul before the shot on 41, Wiley Brown. Boy, great passing on the inside by the Maryland club. Here we see a play. Albert King looking inside. Hits Williams beautifully. That was on the previous play. Now we're going to have a foul before the shot went up. Maryland gets the ball out of bounds. Foul was not on uh, Brown, but on Smith, his second. Albert King, the class of his class. <laughs> All-American last year. Now you have McRae playing against King. A little change defensively for Louisville. That's Scooter planning. Good pass! Oh, Manning scores a good backdoor play with the assist to Morley. The old blind pig play. Al, you had that one in your repertoire. Let me, the team looks really well coached. That was a beautiful backdoor. Jerry Eves in the corner to Smith. Maryland again in that zone defense. They're daring Louisville to shoot from outside. Smith gets inside, can't hit. What a rebound. Buck Williams. Jerry Eves was right there, and Buck took it away from it. Some rebound. Morley to Pittman. Good move to the hoop. Rebound, Rodney McRae. We're really seeing some great rebound. And clean it off the glass. Scooter McRae. Uh oh. Buck Williams. Basket interference. I think that was Pittman, Dick, that went up there and blocked that one away. They almost look like bookends. Well, the game is definitely going to be decided on the foul line and within three feet of the rim. You're right, it was Pittman, goaltending, timeout, 14-13 Maryland. Introducing the revolutionary Twin Action Shaving System, engineered to outperform twin blades. The new Norelco Rotatract Razor. Inside three floating heads, Rotatract works like twin blades to grip hair. Raise it up, then razor it off, hundreds of times a second, for a shave that's twin blade close, without a nick or cut. The new Twin Action Norelco Rotatract Razor, cord and rechargeable. Twin blade closeness, but no gotcha. Show-stopping looker. Right. Chevy Camaro. You'd like a road-hugging cooker. Yeah. Chevy Camaro. You know what's coming down. What? Cost ever rising, ever rising, refueling blue. 
Cause you need a 20 mpg -er. Huh? Chevy Camaro mm. A fuel sipping D6 with manual tread Chevy Camaro da, 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 da. The 20 mpg Hugger is making performance affordable He'll jingle your bells in the Dean Martin Christmas Special with Eric Estrada, Andy Gibb, Beverly Sills, and Mel Tillis. It's Holly Mistletoe and Lots of Cheer Tuesday. Reminder after basketball today, San Diego, Seattle football, and then tomorrow, a full lineup as NBC presents. An NFL doubleheader for you, so sit down and enjoy the weekend with us as we bring you the best in college basketball and professional football. First uh, report on the shooting statistics, Louisville hitting at a better pace than Maryland. However, the scoreboard reads Maryland in front by one, and the Terrapins have the ball leading 14-13, 11.45 left in the half. Roger Berkman, instant defense, and Poncho right instant offense into the game right now. Louisville making its first substitutions. And there they are on the backcourt, ball hawking. 44 is right, and 34, that's Berkman. Maryland really being patient, getting that ball over half court. Buck Williams helping out. Outside to Graham. That's up, that's Albert up. Albert King. Buck Williams, another rebound, and then it's taken away by Berkman. And it's traveling against Maryland. Berkman makes things happen. Every time he comes on the court, Starts. One of the things a lot of people don't realize about Roger Berkman, he's got long arms, he's six foot five, and he's an excellent leaper. That's Berkman with the ball. All alone is Wiley Brown. Not there. Rebound Rodney McRae. And Louisville leads for the first time, 15-14. They're in a 2-2-1 zone press, but once the ball comes over half court, they go to man to man. Watch it develop now into a man to man. Notice, are they staying? No, they're coming out to a man to man now. Man to man. This crowd really into the game. It's the first time Louisville's fans have been able to see a home game since the championship. Poncho Wright with the interception, and then Morley knocks it away. It'll be Louisville's ball. Here we see the shot outside by Wally Brown. Excellent offensive rebounding. Now, Maryland's in that zone. They're not blocking out at all. Louisville's getting an awful lot of easy shots after the miss. Rodney McRae out to Poncho Wright. Scooter McRae. And now Berkman. Wright is the best shooter from the perimeter on the floor now for Louisville. He's in the right corner, 44. They'll try to get well, it to him. He's a streak shooting. They clear out the baseline and come to one corner. They'll feed him and they'll take a pop from the corner. Scooter McRae. Not there. Rebound Rodney, and I believe Scooter guilty of the foul. Yes, he raises his hand before Lenny Wirtz even indicated. He knew it. I think what else is also available here, Al, with the crashing rebounding that you see right here, you see Scooter going up with a shot. Louisville's crashing all five guys to the boards. There's going to be a long pass available the other way for an easy basket. They really do crash well. And at your point, too, earlier, Coach, uh, well made in that there's Scooter McRae with a 10-footer that he really seemed to be forcing up there. He wasn't soft at all. He has indecision yet. They need a win so bad. It's like a guy playing card, playing gin. It doesn't get on the floor. There's Berkman again. Berkman made the steal, but Maryland gets it back. This is Ernie Graham. Off to Morley. Albert King inside to Williams. And he was fouled. Boy, good ball move. Foul on Scooter McRae, his second. Also fine positioning on the inside. It's amazing to me how Berkman can come in and get his hands on the ball defensively. Here you see Morley. Good bounce pass inside. Excellent position that time by Buck Williams and Scooter McRae came over the top. Buck Williams, the Atlantic Coast Conference Freshman of the Year. Now a junior, last season averaged 15 and a half a game. He has been a solid rebounder his last two years and he's picking right up, averaging nearly 13 boards a game this season. He's quite a player. Well, he's an unbelievable center for six foot eight. Last year against uh, Samson at Virginia and Kaminsky at Duke, he outplayed him in the, uh, in the four meeting. We're at the halfway mark of this first half. Ten minutes gone. And Louisville, Poncho Wright has his first basket. And Louisville back in front by one. Poncho Wright is a streak shooter. He hit his first one. He's off to the race. Albert King. Trying Good to jump block. off. Eric Smith the other way. Berkman. 
Eric Smith, right. They'd like to get right that jumper from the side again. But he's going down there, trying to get location. They're going out of a double stack, hitting right inside. Foul away from the ball on Ernie Graham, number 25 of Maryland, his second foul. Uh, the next foul, Louisville's at six, and Maryland has five. Non-shooting foul, the score is 17-16. Louisville leading Maryland. Nine minutes, 19 seconds left in the first half. Billy, no team has got the spurt yet to break out. No, they haven't. As a matter of fact, I think both clubs playing rather tentatively. Start of our college coverage. Next week, another big one. It'll be the Big Ten against the ACC, Indiana, North Carolina. There's that zone. It's very passive. One, two, two. A lot of holes. Derek Smith. Hold up. Maryland doesn't score this time. The next time down, left will probably come with a timeout. Inside, but play is. Oh, what a play by Wright. He fouled him, but that oh, action above the iron. That was a good play by Pancho Wright because Buck Williams had an easy two right there. Williams is not a good foul shooter. There was a case where I said, Derek Smith, you see, he pulled back on that jumper, but Scooter McCray at 6'9", crashing in from the guard position is some kind of offensive rebound. Buck Williams shooting two. Not a good free throw shooter, although he hit the first two, and that's three in a row. 19-17, Maryland trails by two. Billy, why don't you explain a new rule about foul shots now? All right, all the fellas on the lane, as the ball is handed to the free throw shooter, are allowed to go into that lane as soon as the ball leaves the shooter's hand, as opposed to the rules in the pass. Nobody can be down in that four-court area. 1918, let's pause briefly for station identification. From Louisville, this is the NBC Television Network. Dick Enberg, Al McGuire, Billy Packer, Freedom Hall, Louisville, Kentucky, as we open our NCAA college basketball season on NBC. Defending champion Louisville, leading unbeaten Maryland, 1918. Eight and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Neither team able to pull away any sizable lead. Roger Berkman off a toe, out of bounds to Louisville. <laughs> That's a good bounce pass, good idea by Berkman inside. New uh, Louisville substitute, Lancaster Gordon, number four, a freshman from Jackson, Mississippi. I think they've got another great freshman, Charles Jones, but he probably won't play today. Gordon can't connect, tipped by McGray. McGray gets it back and scores! 21-18, Rodney McGray has four. Oh, Manning threw up a prayer. Williams rebounds, and it's out of bounds to the Louisville. What a Unbelievable block. They're still letting Graham get inside. They've got to stop him from getting inside. There he is, Billy, on the inside. Watch Poncho come over the back and block the shot. Some kind of block. Good play. That's if Rochelle didn't like it, but it looked like a good play. Well, Louisville has a sixth man here to crowd. They're going bananas today. Derek Smith. He's got it. That's the biggest lead for Louisville. Lefty, you better hit him. Better hit him with a timeout, Lefty. King, not there, but Buck Williams is, and he is fouled. Dick, Buck Williams is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> He's in get position, can he? he uh, next year, he has to be first team on America. He, he just gets off his feet so fast. He's so powerful. He motors up and down the court. Actually, we've got to give Lefty Drizel three more wins. He has 404 career victories. He started this year with 399, and he's 5 and 0. Oh. Well, he's in line, Buck Williams. Well, Lefty's been coaching 20 years, so he had 19.5 wins a year for 20 years. Started at Davidson, was a winner immediately, and now at Maryland, where he has compiled 223 wins in 11 seasons. You know, Dick, one of the things we're seeing with these guys able to get into the lane early. A lot of disconcerting of the shooter, particularly on two-shot fouls. Guys running across that lane. It doesn't seem to bother Buck Williams. 
Buck Williams now the leading scorer with 12 points. A perfect six for six from the line. Louisville's lead cut to three. It's seven and a half left in the half. This Christmas card was sent to you by the people at Miller High Life. Merry Christmas. Head and Shoulders doesn't have it. Selsun Blue doesn't have it. Only Denerex has it. An extra relief medicine to stop dandruff itch. You can feel it tingle. All three have one medicine for dandruff itch. But only Denerex adds a second medicine. An exclusive anti-itch medicine many dermatologists recommend. You can feel it tingle. That's extra relief medicine, and only Denerex has it. In regular or New Mountain Fresh Herbal, Denerex stops dandruff itch with an extra relief medicine. A great day of football continues as the San Diego Chargers battle the Seattle Seahawks. Then tomorrow, see the Buffalo Bills try to win a playoff berth against the Patriots who need a win to stay alive. A reminder, fans, Bob Hope's annual Christmas special. Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Eastern time, it'll feature the AP All-American football team. They'll sing along with Bob Hope. Here's, <laughs> I'd like to see this one. A trio of Herschel Walker, the Heisman winner George Rogers, and Bob Hope do a little trio. Also on the show, Lonnie Anderson, Loretta Swit, and Larry Gatlin. Tuesday, Bob Hope's annual Christmas special. 7.39 remaining in the first half here in Louisville. The Cardinals leading Maryland 23-20, and they've outshot Maryland. Good defense. Rodney McRae. And Buck Williams showing some great rebounding and scoring strength to Olympians. Louisville really cutting down their turnover rate here in the first half. That's been the bugaboo for them in the first couple of games this year. Handling the ball very well. Man to man by Maryland. Derek Smith with Graham. Wiley Brown and Buck Williams and a whistle away from the ball. Holding, I believe, Reggie Jackson. Yes, Jackson, number 15, has his second foul, and that will send Louisville into the bonus. A reminder, gentlemen, that we will be selecting the Chevrolet Most Viable Player and a Most Viable Player Scholarship Award to go with that honor later in the game. Whoa! Well, it's really tough to play this club man to man. They've got so many guys that can post up inside. Wright lost the ball. Here comes Maryland, trailing by three. Tough man to man by Lord. Graham with the freshman Gordon on him. Berkman again, and he picks up a foul. Oh, he, he does have great reaction, tremendously long arms, and good foot quickness. He wanted to start this year, and uh, Coach Crum said, I'd rather have you come in off the bench. You know, so the, he said, you're the coach, I'll do whatever you say. Whenever he's guarding a man, the man that he's guarding ought to look to go without the ball, to keep him occupied. If you stand around, he's going to leave you and go pick up one of the guys that has the ball. You've got to keep moving. Graham looking for his fourth point. That would whittle Louisville's lead to one. 23-22, seven minutes left in the first half. Right for the second straight time, turns it over, unable to handle the dribble, and it'll be Maryland looking for the lead. Ball really came off this floor hot. It's a portable floor. Sometimes you hit the real tough part of the floor, and it comes off there so hot it's tough to get. Right goes out, and Rodney McRae back in. Berkman hawking Jackson in the backcourt. Oh, he got him to pick up his dribble. Here's Berkman again. Manning off to Graham. He likes that shot. Right there. Rebound Brown. Berkman ahead to Smith. Inside to Rodney McRae, and he is fouled by Albert King. His second. Let's watch his hand on this first foul shot to see how much confidence he has. If the man pulls back his hand or turns his arm one way or the other, that means the tendency of choking up. If he follows through right at the rim, that means he has confidence. So let's see, Rodney. Great freshman career last year, won a national championship. Very quiet, shy person. 
He doesn't go to the foul line very much for a guy that's a real good inside player. You're right, Billy. He's only two for three in three games for a man playing inside to have only three free throws. Most unusual. Nice follow through that time. He kept his eye in the front of the rim. Watch his hand. Kept it square. Nice, nice, nice fish hook at the end, Rudd. One thing I didn't like about him is his eyes followed the ball. The game. Billy, how that. could you see his eyes from here? I watched here? it. I watched it. <laughs> We have the replay. You don't have to look at the monitor. It has to be Dr. Cyclops. Berkman, no steal. The ball was on the baseline. It'll go to Maryland. Terrapin's trailing by two and a substitution. 32, Charles Pittman returns for Maryland. And Ernie Graham gets a breather. Charles Lefty Drizel. This may be his best team. Uh, he's looking to get the Ring of Liberty bell on March 30th. Watch your hands, watch the your hands. Spectrum in Maryland will be the scene of the NCAA Finals this year. Got a two, three, Billy. And got him back in there pretty well. That's an offensive Buck Williams. foul. Offensive foul on Williams, no basket. I think what happened, some excellent defensive plays by Louisville made Buck Williams think it's gonna get a little rougher in there. That time he went and used his body. Excellent play by Wiley Brown to pretend like he couldn't handle it. You know what could have happened too, Billy? He was facing a man-to-man -man for so long. Michael Zone might have mixed him up and backed it into him. Louisville leading 24-22. Berkman to Rodney McRae Beautiful. off to Lancaster Gordon, way off the mark, and Buck Williams ripping the rebound. And he released early that time. He had it wide open. Williams hustling down court, fighting for his own rebound, and the foul is against whom? Rodney McRae. Well, that was a tough call. Buck Williams wanted that ball inside. It's incredible the ability he has to keep his feet on the floor. There you see releasing early. Jackson, Albert King, beautiful pass inside. There's Williams using his body, doesn't have it, bounces right back up. That's what you're talking about, Albert. Quickly. He doesn't need a step. Most jumpers need a step to jump. He doesn't. Of all the, of all the statistics, gentlemen, about Buck Williams last year, he was the shortest center in the ACC all year long. Not one opposing center outscored Buck Williams, and I suspect very few out-rebounded him. He has 12 today. That's 13 to lead Maryland, and if he hits this one, he will tie the game at 24. If he has a soft spot in this game, is that his, his range is from about 8 to 10 feet out. After that, he just uh, doesn't have the ability to bottom it out. He hit those two 15-footers all right, and he's 8 for 8 from the line today. And look at him hustle. He's the guy playing all the way back on the zone press. Jerry Eves, good fake on Jackson, and he hits. 6-24, first bucket for Reeves. Excellent pump fake. We got ourselves an excellent college basketball game. Oh, good play by the player. in your face. <laughs> Excellent hustle on that play by Rodney McRae. To be quite honest, Albert King was kind of loafing on the play. I first thought Rodney should have kicked the ball up to Derek Smith that time. 28-26, Louisville, Eves, foul by Reggie Jackson. Here we're going to see the play. Good hustle. There's a six foot eight, six foot seven man taking it all the way. Really a flexible ball player, Rodney McRae. And then the other way it goes to Pittman. And he just flushed this one. <laughs> you know, it seems I asked Will Chamberlain the other day what one rule he would change in basketball. And he said, I'd make the court wider. And I think eventually someday we're going to have to because there's so much talent out there. They're so big and so gifted. There really isn't a lot of room for the big men to maneuver, and they have the ability at 6869 to put on the moves with a dribble. Al won't agree with this, but I still think the easy answer is to take one guy off each side oh, please, and play four Billy. on four. Then you have a lot of room. Wait for those for later in the season. Don't <laughs> talk them up at the top of the season. All right, Jerry Eves, and the malady continues. Tough to hit the free throw so far for Louisville. He gets one out of two, and Louisville's lead 29-26. Maryland's throwing a lot of dangerous lob passes against this zone. They've been getting away with it so far, but Louisville's picked up a lot of intensity in that press. Albert King, 16-footer, not there. Whoa! 
Williams, another rebound over McRae. Timing. Morley open, passed it up. Albert King is due. That's his shot. Rebound, Scooter McRae. Wiley Brown. You kind of wonder, how did they lose three games in a row? <laughs> Maybe the intensity that Denny Crum was talking about. No is turnover. To return. No turnover. The foul on Scooter McRae before the dribbler, Manning, lost control. That's the third foul. You know, Dick, neither Albert King or Ernest Graham have gotten out of the box with their jump shots, and one of the reasons I think for that is the fact that Louisville has such great leapers that they go up for their normal shot, and there's a man right there in their face. Scooter McRae now has his third foul, so that's something to consider with four minutes left in the half. Manning, who is also on a free throw streak, that is his 15th in a row. He once had 23 straight last year. He was the best field goal and free throw shooter in the ACC last year. You just gave him the kiss of death. He's one of the best in the nation, Dick, and has been throughout his career. 31-27. Gordon way off the mark. Rebound and a foul on Ernie Graham, and he has three fouls. He blocked out by using his body instead of spreading right out. Rodney McRae, who's an excellent rebounder, took advantage of it. Well, Danny Crum must have tremendous faith in this kid Flash Gordon out there. This freshman has played quite a bit in the first half in a highly pressured game. At the line is Rodney McRae. Seven points, eight rebounds already in this first half, and it was McRae's great rebounding in the championship game in Indianapolis, a key figure, along with Darrell Griffith's great all-around play that led Louisville to its first ever national championship. Well, they come from Mount Vernon High School, the two brothers. One of my players came from there named Earl Tatum. That a coach is now an assistant coach of Wichita called Rick Shaw. And a couple of Williams boys, Gus and Ray Williams also. 3-27, that equals Louisville's biggest lead, six points. Timeout, three minutes, 54 seconds before the half. How do folks feel when they service their cars with Napa brand parts? Satisfied. On top of the world. Listen to it. Just listen to it. I did it. And no parts left over. Lots of Napa brand parts are better than a car's original parts. And using quality parts produces results that make folks feel... Great. When the name is Napa, the standard is quality. This magnificent animal stands for the broad range of insurance coverages from the Hartford. The Hartford can have you covered at home or on the road. The Hartford can have your business covered for losses and liabilities and for your life and the lives of your employees. To protect your business, home, auto or life, call an independent agent who represents the Hartford for a quote. The Hartford. Let us protect your world. It's the all-new Osmond Family Christmas Show, starring Donnie and Marie with guests Greg Evigan, Doug Henning, and Peggy Fleming. Merry Christmas! Monday. 8 o'clock Eastern Time, games people play. Our Emmy Award nominee, Al McGuire, will be featured. I think that you're probably the greatest all-around tug-of-war play-by-play man I've ever heard. Well, <laughs> even that Emmy was a joke, Dick. I, I think it just threw me in because they couldn't find another name. <laughs> no, come on. We know better. Don't forget, Thursday night, games people play. Another great addition. 33-27 to score. Louisville looking for its first win of the year, trying to beat undefeated Maryland. Manning. Block. Oh. Oh, oh, look, look at Williams, Williams. and oh. he is fouled, and oh, he goes down heavily as Wiley Brown, and there are a couple of huge bodies colliding in midair. That ball was beautifully blocked. We'll see it right here. Rodney McCray gets a piece of it. See that? Just a little nip. Now, Williams takes position. He actually batted the ball back up at the rim because he knew he couldn't get it, and there's Wiley Brown putting him on the floor. Boy, it's certainly the land of the Giants under there today. Uh, super leapers in this ball game. Boy, that collision hit 4.2 on the Richter scale when Williams hit the deck. 
as Denny Crum pacing along the sidelines. We'll see him at halftime in a, a different Denny Crum in a different environment. Williams finally misses a free throw after hitting eight in a row. Buck Williams only shooting 50 some percent from the foul line. That was a okay, problem he had last year also. Some kind of competitor in excellent physical condition. The whole Olympic experience, all those players we saw last summer. Pittman rebounds, gets the two anyway, 33-29. Next week we're gonna see two more. Al Wood for North Carolina and Isaiah Thomas of Indiana. It just accelerated their maturity, don't you think, Coach? Yes, uh, also these trips over to Europe that these clubs take in the summertime. We won the national championship the summer before that. I took my team down to Brazil. Stolen by Pittman. And Louisville turns it over. Maryland trails by four. Three and minutes left. Pittman working on Rodney. Morley off to Manning. 12 footer. 33-31. Maryland down by six. Gets two buckets in a row to cut the lead to two. That was a good look by Dutch Morley. Made a little penetration. Maryland Morley over to Manning who went offset. I think what Matt Lefty's doing right now is packing that zone back in and making Louisville take the shot. The basket is good and a foul on Morley as Jerry Eves connects and has five points. Dick, that was a big one by Jerry, Billy. It really was. It really was because what Maryland has done is taken their zone and put it back inside the foul line and said, okay, Louisville, let's see you make one from outside. And Eves hits it. Eves is one for two from the line. In comes Berkman, 34, and out goes the freshman Gordon. Eves, who played at Ballard High School here in Louisville, and his teammates were Jeff Lamp and Lee Raker, who are now starring at University of Virginia. We'll see them later on a time or two here on NBC. Had a big win last night against Duke. Eves misses again on the front end of a one and one. 35-31, Maryland with the ball, trailing at Louisville. I'm sure Morley is respecting Berkman out there in the front. Albert King looking to hit a jumper before the first pass is over. Inside to Williams, he scores! Buck Williams now with 16 points. Inside Smith, he can't hit, but he was fouled. He did a nice job of hanging in there. He really did. He was up against both Williams and Pittman. Pittman picks up the foul. Watch how he spreads his legs to try to stay up in the air a little bit longer when he goes up, Billy. Watch. You see, just to stay off the floor, a split second longer, got the ball off the glass. He missed it, but he got two shots. You know, Dick, you're talking about the Olympics. Derek Smith did not make the team. But in the opinion of almost everybody that was there, he probably was the, the best player in the Olympic trials that did not get selected. Halftime, we're going to take you to Southern Indiana. Denny Crum on That's the long. Board. Wiley Brown has it stolen by Morley, and Denny Crum right there thought Morley fouled. Well, he came over the top, and normally they'll call that on you. Inside to Pittman as Buck Williams oh gets the assist. Pittman's a keeper. He made all American two years ago out in California as a Joko. He took his team to the finals twice. That's right. Let's fill the fans in on Pittman. He's a new face for Maryland. He was at Merced Junior College in California, and he, two times, as you said, were in the California Junior College Finals, and he's been a fine addition to this Maryland team. 36-35, Louisville, Eves. Rebound King. Maryland has a chance for the lead. They've overcome a six-point lead. They're only down by one. Stolen by Berkman. Rodney. That's gone. Rodney McRae, 38-35. Manning, and the foul is on Manning for charging. No place to go right here. That's an excellent play by Berkman. That's the second time today Rodney McRae has put one away. And there was Maryland down by one with possession of the ball. Morley made a bad play, taking it inside. They find themselves down three without the ball. 38-35, you see the time remaining in the first half. Berkman, Eves, Smith lost it out of bounds. He saw Williams out of the corner of his eye and lost the dribble. And I think Derek was looking to go inside to Rodney. Just took that little eye off. 
made the move a little bit too fast. Manning hopped by that Berkman. King. As we approach the one minute mark. I think the Maryland players need to understand that you don't take this ball inside against Louisville. The great leapers that they have take away the shot. Manning away from Berkman. He scores. Nice oh move inside. Manning that plays a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> he plays a little bigger than 6-1, doesn't he? Well, he has good body control when he goes into the air. Nine points now for Manning. Final seconds, 38-37. Louisville, Rodney. Not there, but Wiley Brown rebounds. And scores. 40-37, Brown with eight points. 30 seconds to go. You think they play for one shot, Billy? I think it'd be smart. But Williams, Rodney McRae with a foul. Just got a piece of the wrist. Um, that it's was a hairline call. And it's a third on McRae, so both McRae's, Rodney and Scooter, have three fouls. Here comes the pass. Rodney coming over there. Does get a piece of the arm as he got the ball. At the line, Buck Williams. A defensive end in football in high school. Can you imagine? Wouldn't need anyone else on that side of the line. Just let Buck take care of that side. He is a man. Yeah, look at the chops on him. He's a handsome guy. He hits, and it's 40-38. Maryland trying to cut the lead to one. Look for Louisville to bring it down and take that one shot. Maryland packing his own back. Billy, you think he got a haircut for national TV? I don't think so. Oh, he, that was clean cut all through there. Williams hits them both. He's had a big first half, a total of 18 points. Louisville. Leading by one, trying to get that final shot, and Wright, for the third time, loses the ball on a pass. No need to take that ball in there. 16 seconds to go. They had the lead and the ball. Psychologically, if Maryland scores now, it's going to hurt Louisville. Going in there, point down rather than the point up. Nobody coming to it. Six seconds. You see the clock remaining. And Wiley Brown got time. A little short for Brown, the end of a very interesting first half. At the intermission, Louisville, the defending champion, leads unbeat Maryland, 40 to 39. We'll get Al and Billy's comments about this first half when we return in a moment. 42. Oh, what a call. What a heartburn. How do you spell relief? Check the board, coach. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Rolaid spells relief. Unbeatable relief. Relief Tums can't beat. Relief no other leading antacid can beat. For comic relief, I put on a frown. But for acid indigestion, I spell relief. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Unbeatable. Rolaid spells relief. Unbeatable relief. They wanted you to build bridges over rivers, but you had other plans. Your car is the strikingly new 1981 Monte Carlo with the economy of a responsive V6 and fresh, clean, sharply sculpted lines. And you'll choose it because you're proud of who you are. You and Monte Carlo. 1981 Monte Carlo. A matter of personal pride from Chevrolet. I didn't think you could improve on a Kodak pocket camera. Until I use one of the unique new Kodak cameras with built-in electronic sensor light flash. It turns itself on and automatically flashes whenever you need more light. It even turns itself off. You'll never worry about a flash again. A new extra light camera with sensor light flash. A great way to wrap up Christmas gift giving. I trust my stories to cameras and film from Kodak. America's storyteller. It's the Bob Hope Christmas Special with Lonnie Anderson, Larry Gatlin, the AP College All-Americans, and Loretta Swift. A Christmas surprise from Ho Ho Ho. Is this part of saving me? Tuesday. We're at halftime. Freedom Hall, Louisville, Kentucky. Exciting first 20 minutes in Louisville leads Maryland 40 to 39. All right, gentlemen, Billy Packer, at the start of the game, you talked about this be, being perhaps uh, Maryland's best team. Your impressions after 20 minutes? Well, I think in the second half, Dick, particularly, they're going to have to pull up and take that jump shot. King Albert hasn't hit his so far. They've got to do that. And I think on defense, they've got to pack that zone in because these guys are going way above the rim. 
And Al McGuire, and, an, and your analysis of Louisville, you said they're still in search of a leader. They need a leader. They're still missing Griffin. They, they need someone out there that takes charge, that says, get in the corner, do this, do that. They're looking at the bench too much. They're playing scared. You know, this is the end of the year. Do you know what year it'll be next year when we get to January? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a little inside joke, but you're going to be in on the joke because it's part of Al McGuire's chat with Denny Crum. We're going to take you to the farm in Indiana right after we pause for these words from your local station. Sunday on, Sunday on Chips, Ponch and John stage an airborne rescue when Bonnie is kidnapped by a vicious motorcycle gang. Then, for the first time on TV, the kidnapping of the president. The president will be dead. Starring Hal Holbrook, William Shatner, Van Johnson, and Ava Gardner. Sunday, a night of adventure on NBC. Really fits into him. He's a laid-back type of guy. He's not a veneer. He's not a phony. And he likes nature. And I think you'll enjoy watching this bit that, he do that we did two weeks ago. All right, Al McGuire went across the river into southern Indiana. Let's visit with Coach Denny Crum on his Indiana farm. Step up here and screen him off as the ball comes in here, then step in there and we shoot the lamp. Come on. Wiley! Get up there! Come on! Trap him, punch! This is the one place I can come where uh, we don't talk about basketball and where we just, uh, you get back to nature. You're out here with the, the animals and, and uh, away from people and it's, uh, it's very relaxing for me. Championship. 1977, you got your ring on. What has it done to your life? Uh, it's 1980. Oh, I won in 1977. You, were, you were the you. champion in 1977. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Huh? <laughs> uh, 1980, you won the national championship. What has it done to your life? Well, uh, I hope it hasn't changed much of anything. Uh, I signed a new contract. I have a new six-year contract and an option to renew for five more. So I guess in, in uh, collegiate coaching, that's as close to 10 years you can get, and I'm very thankful to the university for that. Uh, I've been awfully busy, as you well know. Once you win a championship, uh, you're, you're on big demand on the banquet tour, and I guess it, uh, uh, it's been no, no, I'm no exception, I guess. I've been busier this year than I've ever been in my life. Did the fee go up? Oh, sure, you bet. <laughs> it has to, doesn't it? Guy's got to make a living, Al. You said the San Fernando Valley that you uh, came from in California. And when you think California, you think of a surfboard and you think of water and so on. Here you are a gentleman farmer in Kentucky. And you had a chance to go back to UCLA. Twice they came after you. How come you didn't go back? I really had intentions of going back, to be honest with you. I was hoping that someday Coach wouldn't retire and I'd get to go back to my alma mater and be the head coach. But after... Having lived in Louisville for a few years, uh, my lifestyle changed. Uh, the things that I enjoyed doing, the hunting and the fishing and the playing golf and the outdoor things in the off seasons, and now it's my home and I love it here and I certainly have uh, no intentions of leaving. It wasn't the job, it wasn't UCLA or anything that they lacked, it was just a question of uh, the lifestyle here. We built our home. Uh, Joyce and I uh, designed the place, she decorated it, and we had it built uh, by a, a local builder here in Crestwood. We just, uh, it's just something that we always wanted to do and something that we've done. What size is your pond or your lake? Oh, my lake's about, uh, when it's full, it's about four acres, and uh, it's about 22 feet deep, and uh, it's stocked with uh, blue channel catfish and uh, bluegill and uh, largemouth bass. Uh, a lot of fun. Any snapping turtles? Oh, yeah, there's lots of turtles in there. <laughs> How about the cattle? How many can you hold on this piece of property? Oh, realistically, maybe 20 head. Uh, it's, not a big, it's not big enough uh, in terms of the amount of pasture. I could clear a lot of the trees and uh, put a lot more cattle on here because I do have 55 acres, but this is the way I want it. I love the trees and just the whole atmosphere of the place is, is what I want it to be. And, and I'm not uh, ever trying to get rich uh, in the cattle business. It's just something I do as a hobby. It's the one place I can go and get away from the pressures of, of basketball. It gives you an opportunity to relax and, and uh, get back to nature. And that's one of the things I love about it out here. Well, everybody knows when you win, obviously, you're high. Everyone is. But what happens when you have a Dunkirk, when you tap out and you blow the ball game? All right. You know, you go to the locker room, you put on your game face for the media after the game, okay? And then, then you walk out. You just have lost a big ball game. What's the feelings inside you? Well, 
I don't think uh, anybody in this business that's competitive and, and you wouldn't be in this business if you weren't uh, likes to lose. Uh, you have to learn to accept defeat uh, and you have to learn to accept it gracefully. Uh, you don't have to like it, but you have to accept it. And uh, we, we usually uh, go out with friends after the game and uh, have dinner somewhere, even at uh, 11, 12 o'clock at night. Uh, I don't sleep anyway, so there's no reason to rush home and get in bed. And, uh, over the long haul, uh, I think we're going to win most of our games, but by the same token, there's going to be those nights, and I'm not going to hide and crawl in a shadow or somewhere just because uh, we didn't win. It's just part of it. Uh, you accept it uh, as part of your livelihood. You don't, you don't like it, but you accept it. Yeah, the mature philosophy expressed by Denny Crum. Where did you go away and hide when you were coaching? Well, I would go to crack sidewalks, but mainly I ride my motorbike, and I'd go do some antique, and I saved toy soldiers, and I just bust out. I wear a flop hat, and it was just that I like being myself. That's right. You have to do it or you go crazy, right? In this business, you do. That's right. We're going to look at the top ten after a couple of weeks of basketball play when we return to Louisville, Kentucky. We have this break with a score. 40-39, Louisville leading Maryland. We'll be right back. Let us show you the lengths Texaco sometimes has to drill to find more energy. This is New York's World Trade Center. Imagine drilling the length of 15 World Trade Centers. 15 World Trade Centers. That's almost four miles. Well, that's how deep Texaco has to drill. Four miles down at a million dollars a mile to find more energy for you here in America. Texaco, working to keep your trust. Steve. A little one-on-one. -on -one. I ought to do some yard work. Or make a little life. I don't have to do any yard work. Would good friends really go at it this hard just for a beer? Well, consider it's Michelob Light, and that means a rich, smooth taste you can compare to any beer you like. 102 to 98. How did you do it? Defense? Michelob Light. Compare the taste. First three weeks of the college basketball season, there's the top ten, AP and UPI. DePaul, the team that you picked, Al McGuire, to win it all this year. I think they should be number one in both polls because they have the whole package. They got maturity. What Kentucky is missing is they don't have enough maturity. They got a lot of freshmen and sophomores, even though they're excellent players. I also believe that Oregon State should be rated ahead of UCLA. I think UCLA is there because of their tradition. Of course, Maryland unbeaten is fourth playing here today. Talking about Oregon State, uh, Larry Brown at UCLA thinks Virginia will be the team that'll, that'll win it all because of the big man. Well, we got two great uh, teams next week. We got North Carolina against Indiana, which are both teams in the Big Ten. In the top ten, and of course, Notre Dame we'll see later as well. And there's your top ten, which may be juggled a bit. Louisville, of course, is not in the top 20 and fighting to find its spot back in the national rankings with a big victory today. We're at the intermission. The score, Louisville 40 and Maryland 39. And we'll have the second half of action from Freedom Hall for you after these words from your local stations. Come laugh and sing with the sweethearts of Saturday night. Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell sisters with special guests Ray Stevens and the Croft Puppets. Then it was the perfect robbery. Except for one thing. There's no money here. Sonny! Al Pacino in the award-winning Dog Day Afternoon. Right after Barbara Mandrell, Saturday on NBC. College basketball brought to you by Michelob Light, an exceptional light beer with a rich, smooth taste. 
by Chevrolet and your Chevrolet dealers from coast to coast. By dependable, ever-ready flashlight batteries. Ever-ready, a name you can trust. And by the Hartford and its independent agents who can protect your business, home, auto, and life. George worked overtime to finish this suit for my wedding. He needs the deodorant that works overtime. Bob worked overtime learning how to skate. <laughs> he needs the deodorant that works overtime. Old Spice Stick deodorant works 24 hours. Only Old Spice Stick gives you both 24-hour protection from odor plus that famous Old Spice scent. Bucky's been working overtime to get ready for the game. <laughs> Good thing my Old Spice Stick deodorant works overtime, too. Old Spice Stick, the deodorant that works overtime. Three zip, Denny. Looks like we're going to win the Michelob Light. <laughs> now you've gone too far. Would a bunch of guys really go at it this hard just for a beer? Well, consider it's Michelob Light, and that means a rich, smooth taste you can compare to any beer you like. How many goals do you think we gave those guys? Hey, just one, Mike, the Michelob Light. Michelob Light. Compare the taste. It's tough to reach perfection, like pitching a perfect game. But Jockey Brand underwear really comes close with the comfort and quality of pure comb cotton. And real quality means real value. I always wear Jockey Brand, either classic white or fashion colors. If I pitch the way Jockey makes underwear, I never lose a game. Jockey, more than a name, a commitment. It's the Bob Hope Christmas Special with Lonnie Anderson, Larry Gatlin, the AP College All-Americans, and Loretta Swit. A Christmas surprise from Ho Ho Ho. Is this part of saving me? Tuesday. There are the statistics officially in the first half. And again, the one thing that grabs my eye, free throws, 54% for Louisville. That's why they lead by only one. Billy, what do you see there? Well, you also see field goal percentage, 41% for Maryland. And the reason for that is Albert King is one for nine and Ernest Graham's one for two. Now that is really holding down two potent scores. That will never happen again in their college career. Al King going one for nine. That is an upset. There are the individual scorings. Buck Williams carried Maryland that first half offensively. And Rodney McRae, the opposing center, 11 points to lead Louisville. 40 to 39, the game score. Rebounding even, fouls against both teams even. Three men are playing with three fouls. We should point that out. That could be critical. Ernie Graham, Reggie Jackson with three. Actually, uh, two Louisville players, the two McRae's also with three. Watch Williams trying to steal his tap. Watch. Oh, didn't get it that time. He went up the second time. That's twice that he and Rodney have gone up the second time in a pit. That's reintroduced the players. That's Richie Jackson with the ball. Greg Manning with him in the backboard. There's Manning. Buck Williams in the post with Ernie Graham and Albert King on the wing. It's a clear out for King. They're trying to get him out of the box here early in the second half. Good point, Billy. There's King. Working on Scooter McRae. They need to get him going. Foul on Eves, reaching in. Louisville starts the second half with Eves, Scooter McRae in the backcourt, although McRae quickly moves inside. Wiley Brown, Derek Smith at the forwards, Rodney McRae at center. That last foul is called by good officials to show that they're going to run the rhythm of this game. They're going to govern the game. That was like a high school uh, foul that time. But they usually call early to say, hey, I'm boss. There's Albert King breaking up. They've got it cleared out for him against Derek Smith, trying to get him out of the box in the second half. And he scores on his first shot, and Maryland takes the lead, 41 to 40. Well, you pick that right. Al King is the key to the second half for Maryland. And a smart play by Lefty Grizzell. Inside is Scooter McRae, and Louisville leads 42-41. Scooter with eight. Even against the zone, you find Louisville with excellent team passing inside. Well, they're all unselfish young guys. Both teams. That lob pass against his own press to get you in trouble. Jackson to Manning. Now it's a clear out for Ernest Graham over here on this side. Maryland very active away from the ball. Manning jumping off to Buck Williams. He didn't have the handle. Rodney McRae rebound. Scooter with the ball. Rodney wanted to go from outside for a moment. That zone's really packed in there now. Scooter left alone, and it's 44-41. 
10 points for Scooter McGray. That's the advantage of having a six foot nine point guard. He goes right down the heart of the defense. Oh, Graham missed a shot he would rarely miss fire on. Eaves scores! And Louisville jumps in front by five. Seven points for Eaves. Got himself a fryer on that one. Good timeout call, Lefty. Lefty Brazil and Maryland wants timeout. Here's that last bucket by Scooter McRae with two minutes, 15 seconds gone in the second half. The Cardinals of Louisville have jumped in front, 46, 41. Hey, make a love life for the winning team, okay? You guys should do that for us. <laughs> Would a bunch of guys really go at it this hard just for a beer? Well, consider it's Michelob Light, and that means a rich, smooth taste you can compare to any beer you like. You guys never played like that before. Hey, we never played for a Michelob Light before. Michelob Light. Compare the taste. Chevy Citation. We said it was a whole new kind of compact car, and we proved it. We put Citation to work with its front-wheel drive. Room for five. Outstanding storage space and impressive mileage. And now as the best-selling front-wheel drive car in America, with Motor Trend's Car of the Year Award, a half million owners and six billion miles, there's no doubt about it. Chevy Citation. It works. Is the Energizer just another battery? Is the Indy 500 just another race? The Energizer from EverReady Technology. Of all leading brands, nothing outlasts, nothing outperforms the Energizer. EverReady made sure. Your photo flash, calculator, toy, they'll tell you. Energize me. The Energizer. Energize. For life. Long life. New Year's Day on NBC. See Michigan take on Washington in the Rose Bowl, followed by the Orange Bowl, as Florida State battles Oklahoma in a game that could decide the national championship. Lefty Drizel, he calls himself the modern-day Bones McKinney. Born on Christmas Day, he'll be 49 on Christmas. Denny Crum, who has the biggest year of his life tucked away, the national championship at 43, now 44. But realizing how tough it is to repeat, it's a major win when you can beat a national champion. And Tulsa and Oklahoma State have already proven that. Maryland, Graham hits. And it's 46-43. Oh big, big basket. It was, and that bounce pass from a sideline out of bounds situation was not smart. Almost taken away by Maryland, but Eves hangs and drops one through. Louisville definitely out hustling Maryland for loose ball. Jerry Eves made a super play. Albert King rattles, won't drop. Out of bounds to... Louisville. Once again, you see the play inside. Jerry Eves, excellent play, using that left hand so well. Controlled his body. And Eves is almost six foot five, so he certainly goes small man inside there. Yeah, he comes in at six foot four, and uh, Billy, he is lefty. Yep. Louisville has taken four shots in the second half and made all four. There's the zone back way in tight, as opposed to the first half. Denny Clem would like to force Maryland to play man to man. I'd be a little bit too early to slow down this tempo. Well, they're just adjusting against the zone. Eric Smith, not there. Good Wiley hustle again. Wiley Brown took it away from Ernie Graham. Yeah, traveling, he... traveling on Scooter McRae, no basket. He took a walk on the boardwalk. Here you're gonna see Lefty bring Pittman back in the game, probably take Graham out. Graham has really not been hustling. It Let's could see. be because he has three fouls, Billy. I think he's gonna sit him down for a while. That's there exactly he goes. Right. So Pittman, 32, who played well in relief in the first half, scoring six points. He is in for Maryland. Reggie Jackson with a dribble. Maryland trails by five, 48-43. We played three and a half minutes, second half. Inside, to Albert King. No. Oh, yeah. what a block! That was Derek Smith blocking left-footed. Eve 
the Brown. He can't score, but Rodney McRae Rodney has a nose for the ball. Is it just a matter of Louisville out hustling Maryland all over the floor? Some block by Derek Smith. Oh, that was a sensational play by Derek Smith. And the crowd is on its feet here at Freedom Hall. That was Derek Smith going up against Buck Williams. An incredible block. And what you find when you play Louisville, you've got to take your jumper immediately. They all are such quick leapers, you're not going to get that shot off of 12 feet. And let's remind people that Derek Smith is 6'6", and he blocked Williams 6'8", and was way up on top. Looking for Albert King, who's emotionally trying to get this game. Manning can't hit. King. Rebounds. He got fouled. Rebounds, Scooter McRae. Boy, though, with its biggest lead, seven. This is the kind of tempo they had last year. I think we hadn't pointed out the Louisville schedule, but they've been on the road all year. This is the first time they've had that home crowd working for them. It's the Scooter. In very patient. Good move by Louisville. This is their biggest lead, 50-43. We played five minutes, 15 seconds in the second half. Scooter. Rebound Pittman. Scooter got fouled on that little jumper. I look for Albert King now to go ahead and really get active offensively. Way outside, King doesn't hit. Look at that Eames rebound. Kind of thing we saw from Griffith last year. Riley Brown. 52-43. Brown. I, dis I disagree, Billy. I believe that Buck Williams inside scored 18 points the first half. They got to go back to him in there. He's eating them up. He'll get them all in foul trouble. Instead of trying to force the ball to Albert King. There it is. Oh. time. Maryland needs a timeout. Lefty Grizzell does not call time. Denny Crum shouting out to his Louisville team as Grizzell now. Tucker face as his team drops behind by nine. That's what Louisville has ahead. Utah, Minnesota, North Carolina, Southern California or Minnesota, and then Kansas State. Those are tough opponents. And here you see Maryland going man to man. Lefty trying to change something up. Rodney forcing a long shot. Four shots to Berkman. Berkman. Up Smith. And it's now an 11 point lead. 54 43. King can't hit. Smith rebound. Berkman with the ball. Maryland needs that timeout right now. Rodney. They've got no choice. They got they it. Are There's Roger Berkman coming from behind. You have to realize he's there. Louisville playing out of sight. Steve Brown is living proof that the Hartford's loss prevention program saves more than just insurance premium dollars. His company's general liability coverage included a Hartford on-site inspection and recommendations that reduced hazards and saved Steve's life. To protect your business, home, auto, or life, call an independent agent who represents the Hartford for a quote. The Hartford. Let us protect your world. Prince George Machiavelli. They say men of such daring are gone forever. Nonsense. They say men who rule their own destinies are no more. 
there are more. They say men who invite passion are extinct, yet they are here. And to them we introduce Machiavelli, a subtle yet distinctive man's cologne. Machiavelli, inspired by his image, created for yours. College basketball is off to a flying start as America's most exciting premier point guard, Isaiah Thomas and the Hoosiers of Indiana, take on the North Carolina Tar Heels next Saturday on NBC. The home of the national champions. You're talking about a national champion. There's one, Bob Hope. And his annual Christmas special Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Eastern time. It'll feature the collegiate football All-Americans. And they'll be singing with Bob Hope. A trio that will be a lot of fun is Mr. Hope with a Heisman winner, George Rogers, and Herschel Walker, the sensational freshman from Georgia. Also on the show, Loretta Swit, Lonnie Anderson, and Larry Gatlin. That's this Tuesday night at 8 Eastern time. Louisville has run off 10 unanswered points to blow in front of Maryland, 56-43. Remember, Louisville has not won this year. Maryland has not lost. And we got a lifetime to go, just under 13. 10 second call, 10 second call, very close. Open is Manning. That's blocked. <laughs> Rodney McRae blocks. Berkman, three on one. Deeves. And Morley fouled him. What's happening to Maryland, Dick, and we pointed this out at halftime, is that they will not respect the Louisville jumping ability. They take that ball in. One dribble too many, and the shot's going to get blocked. Louisville are great leapers. They're psyching them out in the paint. Jerry Eves at the line after Morley's foul. Eves looking for his 10th point and the 11th in a row for Louisville in this run. I thought that Jerry Eves should have scored that basket, but I thought he'd have enough strength to go up and make a three-point play. Well, Morley came down on him pretty hard. Scored by Louisville. And they have a 15-point lead with 12 and a half minutes left. The press is really getting active now. Albert King on the run. That's a tough shot, a 10-footer. He's smooth, but one of his big assets, Dick, is that when he goes up in the air, he jumps straight. He doesn't go towards the, uh, the backboard. He gets complete body balance. But that was smooth. Maryland is going to have to come from well back if they're going to keep their winning streak intact. Inside, Wiley Brown. 16 of 45. Louisville, 12 for Brown. Denny Crum won the foul, and deservingly so. Wiley Brown got pushed, but he's so strong he was able to compensate. I still believe, and I said earlier that... Whoop. That's a technical. Buck Williams hung on to the rim as he rammed it through. Now the basket will count, but it definitely was a good call. Yeah, he, he held on to the rim. He wrapped his two, uh, two hands around it. A little frustration here by Buck Williams. First time he's touched the ball in the second half. There he is, just grabbing it. Good call. And with the power of Williams, you see why the roll is there. If he hangs on to the rim the way he's slamming it, we might be a 30-minute delay replacing some glass. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Jerry Eves shooting the technical. We're at the 12-minute mark of the second half here at Freedom Hall, Louisville, Kentucky. Dick Enberg, Billy Packer, Al McGuire. Louisville with a run of 12 consecutive points early in this half. Now leads Maryland 60-47. to 47. Dick, that's rather unusual. It shows you the foul shooting difficulty of Louisville. Jerry Eves shooting very poorly from the line this year. Only a 68% career shooter is the guy that was chosen to shoot the foul shot in the technical. And this... What is um, Berkman? What does he shoot in the foul line, Billy? Doesn't get there often. Berkman is uh, one for three all year. <laughs> Smith to Brown. Out it comes to Eves. Great hustle by Louisville. Rodney can't hit. And a foul on Rodney McRae, and that'll be his fourth. That's a big call. McRae has four fouls, and Denny Crum goes to his bench. Here comes Poncho Wright. The press by Louisville really moving up court right now. There's the play inside. Wally Brown just didn't miss it, but they're really hustling offensive board. Now here he comes in, goes ahead, hits Pittman, does McCray, and there's the foul for the charge. Boy, that 
little tough. I said it before. That's the kind of foul I don't like. The acting foul. There was contact, but really wasn't that much. Berkman almost makes another steal. Oh. There it is. Well, you've been talking about that lob pass, and it was stolen, and then the foul on Moreland. You cannot throw the ball in the lob against great leapers like you have in Louisville's club. You cannot throw the ball down court in the lob. They're going up and pick it off. It's a matter of time, though, that got Maryland in trouble. And the man. Morley has three fouls now after committing that last one. Berkman to Eves all alone. Long. Buck Williams corrals the rebound. Maryland trailing 60 to 47. 11 minutes left in the game. There it is, another mistake. Lob pass amazing against such great leapers. Berkman with the ball. I think the crowd's been a real factor in this game too, Al. They've done a great job, the Louisville fans. It's the sixth man, there's a lot of time left. If Maryland makes a run at Louisville, Louisville had the tendency to tighten up because they don't truly have their confidence back. And if you put pressure on them in a tight game, I'd have to go to Maryland. Maryland right. closes the gap. They're going to win. Reggie Jackson, 15. Ernie Graham, 25. Return for Maryland. Lefty Drizel takes out Pittman and Morley. Stay in the zone after the out of bounds. Now they'll hold no. the ball. Yeah, yeah, Denny says bring it back out, make them play man to man. Yeah. That's what's happening. They have to play man to man. They have no choice. They're down 13 points with 10 and a half minutes to go. Berkman. I think he's out, out, out of bounds. No, he traveled. Traveled. Cut the ball a little bit to get that extra step. That was a sensational play, though, by Berkman, even to be able to get it off. And now he's hawking Reggie Jackson. Why would you challenge Berkman? Why not give it to another player and let Berkman be idle? Jackson having trouble, almost had the five seconds on him. King to Manning, and Manning scores at 60-49. Good assist from Albert King. Derek Smith almost got there, just yep. missed that block. Ten minutes left in the game. We're at the midpoint of the second half. Louisville still enjoying an 11-point lead. You know, I'm going to say something that's sound foolish. Louisville needs a basket right here, even though they got an 11-point lead. They need a basket. That's because you once it gets below double digits, it's a different game. Yep, and they can feel. If Maryland makes a run of them, they'll feel Maryland, and they'll start tightening up. Poncho right to Berkman. Of course, Maryland, uh, Louisville runs this man-to-man -man offense, this pattern offense, very, very well. Eves with Jackson, Wright and Graham. Derek Smith taken away by Albert King. Three on one. Graham to Manning. And Williams. Oh, now. they missed two. They missed two layups. What's the play? And now a foul against Maryland. Boy, that's a critical double miss. Boy, they missed two chippies in there. Hard to believe this. Here's Manning. A great play by Poncho Wright. He absolutely grabbed the rim. Buck Williams maybe a little eager on that one, and there was Graham coming over the back of Berkman, who always seems to be in the middle of the action. Ernie Graham now has four fouls. Graham with four. Rodney McRae has four for Louisville. King trying to make back-to-back -back steals. Allen was very passive in this game, particularly the start of the second half, and going man and man has really picked up their intensity. Scooter McRae, number 21, back in for Denny Crown, and Jerry Eves gets a breather. I think now there's a tendency to turn over Louisville. They do not have a good ball handle out there. I think if you create Scooter McRae to put the ball on the floor, you can turn it over. The shortest man on the floor for Louisville is Berkman, 6'5". Got Scooter with Jackson on him inside. Berkman dumping off, and Wright loses the ball again. That's four times on the dribble. He's lost the ball today. Of course, Maryland's making this run with good intensity defensively. There's only so long you can keep that up without wearing down. They're really tired out there. Albert King is looks like he's getting a little tired. Psychologically, if Maryland gets a mini run, four points, four goes in trouble. Manning can't hit it. Rebound, he Brown, and he saw Manning out of the corner of his eye. 
think Manning got a little gun shy of that jumper that time, knowing what great shot blockers he's up against. For those of you who joined us late, Greg Manning, who just missed that shot, came into this game with an ACC and Maryland all-time record of 15 in a row. 11-point lead, Maryland with the ball, 8.32 left. There and now for Albert again, Billy, I think. Albert King and Ernie Graham, two great shooters, have been kept very quiet by the Louisville defense today. Jackson can't hit it. Rebound Scooter McRae. Here come the Cardinals. Wiley. Wiley Brown. He has 11. Make that 16. Bad play by Graham. He's really not having his head in the ball game at all. Here we see Roger Berkman taking it there. Graham reaching instead of playing solid defense. There's Wiley Brown, almost loses the handle. Buck Williams doesn't go for it. Time up, 7.57 left in the game. Louisville leads by 13. Holiday greetings from Budweiser. people who bring you Budweiser wish you and yours a happy and safe holiday season. Mr. Goodwrench, can I get an oil change filter and lube job in a hurry? Sure, I'll do it while you wait. Mr. Goodwrench knows you don't have time to waste, so he can offer while you wait service on many popular jobs. And he has the special GM tools, GM training, and genuine GM parts available to back it up. All done? That was fast. Well, time is money. Sam. That great GM feeling. Where Mr. Goodwrench works. With genuine GM parts. A great day of football continues as the San Diego Chargers battle the Seattle Seahawks. Then tomorrow, see the Buffalo Bills try to win a playoff berth against the Patriots who need a win to stay alive. Thursday night, games people play. The finals of that tug of war. Al McGuire, is that Mike Adamley works with you on that? That's yes. And then, you know, this is legit. These are the firemen of New Orleans against the steel workers of Pittsburgh. It's done in Three River Stadium before 54,000 people. 8 o'clock Eastern time, the games people play. Another turnover by Maryland. Maryland scored the first basket of the second half to take the lead and have scored only eight points since in 12 minutes. Lancaster Gordon had his foot on the line as he made the pass, so it goes to Maryland with the Terrapins trailing by 13. Dickey might be able to get away with those kind of passes against the American U's and those kind of people, but against a club like Louisville, it's not there. Louisville is the best rebounding club in the country, I believe. Albert King working on Derek Smith. Oh, that's a tough percentage shot for most humans, but Albert King's an All-American. Eight points for King. He's had to earn all eight. Derek Smith has done a tremendous job defensively. There's Smith. Stolen by Manning. They're not giving up. King. Traveling on Albert King. No if he has any weakness as a player, it's catching the ball in the open court and moving with on the run. We'll see the play right here. Good defensive job. Manning really hustling here. Excellent bounce pass. Albert King just shuffled it a little bit, trying to get the handle. Time to start milking that clock, Al. Yeah, they're starting. Then he's trying to push that clock as hard as he can. Less than seven minutes remaining. To be important. Excuse me, Dick, ahead, I'm sorry. Al. It'll be important to see who takes the shot here for Louisville. If they do take a shot, they're just going to look to see if they get fouled and get to the one and one That's Albert King fouling away from the ball that time, just trying to keep it away from Derek Smith. It would be the logical choice to take that shot. Third foul on King. Buck Williams, who had 18 at the half, has not scored a point in the second half. Berkman, not there. Rebound, Scooter. 
64-51. Shooter McRae has it. Oh, another terrible pass by Gray. Boy, the Maryland team has really fallen apart in the second half. Well, I don't know what happened at halftime. I, uh, it looks to me when they come back out, they tried to force the ball into either Graham or into Albert King. Uh, they're only one point down, and I thought their, their style the first half was okay for on the road. Being one point down to the national champ at Louisville is all right. Greg Manning really working hard defensively. Louisville in control the ball game right now. Six and a half minutes left. Louisville leads by 13. And a whistle away from the ball. That's all. Three-second violation on the lane. Don't forget, after our basketball from Louisville, Kentucky, we'll be switching out to San Diego Stadium, the Seahawks. The exciting offense of Jack Patera against San Diego in a must-win game as they look ahead to a possible playoff berth. Graham can't hit it. King, what a rebound, and a foul is on Derek Smith. Fourth on Derek Smith. Here we see Graham, who's really had a bad, bad game right here for Maryland. There's Albert King, excellent rebound. You say it's four fouls, Dick, but he's really done a great de job defensively. That's an understatement to hold the All-American King. King has really had to take almost impossible shots to get any points at all. He's altered every jumper that he's taken. Rodney McRae with four fouls is in, and Wiley Brown comes out, and almost another steal by Berkman. Bad pass by King. Berkman all alone. Roger Berkman. The crowd is basket. still the crowd is still sitting back. They're not sure. You'll wait about another minute and a half. This crowd will really take off. Greg Manning, not there. King rebounds. Rodney blocks it. Williams. Oh! oh. because the Louisville jumping ability altered three straight shots on that sequence. Here's the first one, altered Albert King shot. Here's the second one, that's the block on Buck Williams. And right before that, Manning altered his jump shot. You'll see it, he altered the jumper. Now they alter Kings, and then they block Buck Williams. Incredible play by Louisville. Back to live action, Louisville lost the tap. Manning, rebound Smith. has played true to their national championship of last spring. They played a tremendous all-around game. Lancaster Gordon, the freshman from Mississippi, makes it 68-51. Unbelievable. I never thought this would happen. They're on their feet at Freedom Hall. The 851 with five minutes left. Hey, you're driving half a car. To prove Haviland Supreme gives cars engine protection up front. I know, but... Well, you should know. It delivered proven protection and punishing state trooper testing. Yeah, but... Where's the rest of my car? Yeah. Here it comes. To prove Texaco's Haviland Supreme delivered improved mileage, too. Upfront protection backed by improved mileage. That's Haviland Supreme. Do me a favor. I know. Prove how good Haviland is in the next county, huh? Right. A bright red fire truck, a blue calliope, a yellow moon, a pink balloon, a golden Dixie jamboree. Yes, America's true colors come through on GE. GE TV brings you America's true colors, vivid and lifelike. And with GE's special VIR2 circuit, the color is automatically adjusted. Yes, America's true colors come through on GE. GE, we bring good things to life. A great day of football continues as the San Diego Chargers battle the Seattle Seahawks. Then tomorrow, see the Buffalo Bills try to win a playoff berth against the Patriots who need a win to stay alive. Well, this is our 1980-81 appetizer, and we have another feast for you college basketball fans again next Saturday. The Hoosiers and the Tar Heels, you big tenors can argue against those of you who root for the ACC. You'll see all that action. Bobby Knight against Dean Smith, two of the game's greatest coaches. And, of course, that also will be featured as part of a football-basketball doubleheader on NBC next Saturday. That will follow the 
the game in Miami, Miami and the Jets. That's the no announcer game. I know a lot of you want to watch and see how that goes. I know we'll be curious, that's for certain. <laughs> Albert King can't hit it. Rebound, Scooter McRae. So Louisville has done a tremendous job of shutting off Maryland the second half. Kirkman blocked by Williams. And a three-second violation against Louisville. Well, they had four fellas in the lane, and they're packing it so well. You know, Dick, if Louisville's doing this to Maryland, think about Oklahoma State and Tulsa. How good must they be? They beat Louisville, and how good is the number 50 team in the nation this year? Buck Williams can't score. Rebounds, foul by Berkman. The peripatetic Roger Berkman, he's everywhere. The what? Peripatetic. Like, almost like ubiquitous. <laughs> what did you call it? Good. <laughs> Buck Williams, he's been held at two points in the second half. 21 on the game now. The attendance today at Freedom Hall, 15,072. Sixty-eight, fifty-three. Only fourteen points for Maryland the entire second half. Four thirty to go. Louisville being patient, but they don't have to worry about putting it in the deep three. Lancaster Gordon, the freshman, has hit a couple of tough baseliners. More for him. Boy, they are just out hustling. Berkman, that was Berkman again. Scooter, Berkman again. And finally out of bounds off Berkman's leg. Now the crowd is starting to smell blood. They feel they got it. They're starting to get a little bit puffy. Jim Zorn and the Seahawks and Pouts and the Chargers to follow here on NBC. We have exactly four minutes left. 70-53, Maryland trailing Louisville. Oh, Graham, and again, when Maryland does get a bucket, it is a toughly contested shot. She's a solo effort. Nice play. Oh, foul on Williams. Or is it goaltending? Goaltending is the call. Oh, that's an unusual call. Why Buck Williams still staying in there, hanging in there. He had a piece of that ball. I'd like to see that one over again. No foul. They call it goaltending. Here it is again. Rodney, Mc I mean, Scooter McRae makes a nice play here. Let's see it. Oh, I think that's an excellent block. I agree, excellent Billy. block. 72-55, Louisville with 3.44 left. Lefty Drizel just waves his arms in dismay. This has been a very tough second half for the Maryland head coach tonight. Now, what they called that is not only a goaltending, but it looks like they called a foul on Buck Williams as well. Looked to me like a very, very clean block. Boy, that's a double penalty. And Berkman at the line for a three-point play. <laughs> He's going to get one shot. Let's see it again. Here comes Roger Berkman. Up. Buck Williams. Got a good piece of that ball. Hit him on the top of the head on the follow-through. There might have been a foul, but I believe it was a good block. Rebound, Williams. Knocked away by hustle, Eves. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Louisville wanted this one today. Yes, well, sir. I worked at pep rally last night over the school, and the team got up and spoke, but they were very quiet, very low key. They were just trying to get mentally tough with it. Seconds left. Lancaster Gordon out to Berkman. Young freshman did the wise thing. He was trying to make another big play and finally just got it out there. Louisville will be tough for the rest of the year. They grew up. Gordon out there. Williams rebounds ahead to Graham. Graham. No turnover. Maryland totally disorganized. That defense has confused them. Graham not there. King keeps it alive. Williams can't hit. Rebounds to Rodney McRae. When it rains, it pours. Then he wants a timeout. He wants to count off these last two minutes and 43 seconds. And that gives the Louisville crowd a 
chance to cheer their heroes. 43 left, and Louisville has a big lead. Tim Braley, brake quality inspector. This is who we are and what we do at General Motors. Quality is the is the number one priority at our plant because the brake is the most, as far as I'm concerned, the most vital part of the car. It's got to work every time. I, I feel like my job's got a lot of responsibility. If one bad brake got out, I really just, I'd feel terrible. I really would. I'm definitely not going to let that happen. I have a lot of pride in my job. General Motors, people building transportation to serve people. This bud's for the guys who take all the heat for us. This bud's for you. This bud's for, for you. For all you do, the king of beers is coming through. Yeah, just for you. That distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. Ooh, yeah. For all you do. Hey, this bud's for you. New Year's Day on NBC. See Michigan take on Washington in the Rose Bowl, followed by the Orange Bowl, as Florida State battles Oklahoma in a game that could decide the national championship. Football today, San Diego, Seattle. Tomorrow, NBC has a big double header for you. And look at that top game. The Browns and Vikings, two teams in first place. Neither can afford a defeat. And most of you will see the late game, Oakland and Denver. Also Miami, Baltimore, Cincinnati, Chicago, a 1.30 start. NFL 80. That's all tomorrow, a doubleheader here on NBC. 72-55, Louisville with the ball and the lead. Lancaster, Gordon, Eves. Good balance by Louisville in scoring. Rodney McRae with 15, Scooter with 12, Wiley Brown 14, Eves with 11. Albert King tipped it and it goes in for Louisville. Oh, Rodney McKay was up there well, too. I think Rodney might have got his hands on yep. that kick. Well, Rodney now is the leading scorer for Louisville. Dutch Moreland. Oh, he has moved for Maryland his first points of the game. Louisville threw up through a drought. They watched the court fill out there at Tulsa when they lost. They watched Oklahoma State cut down the nets. Oh, a foul by King, but he got away with it. Graham all the way to score. He almost took Berkman's head off, but no foul. Maryland showing some heart right now, staying in there, trying to play tough defense. 15 point Louisville lead, 145 left. Oh, Indiana, North Carolina, next Saturday on NBC. Foul on Reggie Jackson. I think it'll be interesting to see the psychological effect this game will have on Maryland. We know what it's going to do for Louisville. This puts them back in the, you know, in top class form. With Maryland, they're going to have to recover. Well, I just think their continuity broke down the start of the second half. I really think, Billy, they tried too hard to go to Graham and to King. Those two fellows are good enough to take care of it themselves. They don't have to have uh, the ball forced. Jerry Eves playing keep away from Dutch Morley. Time running out on Maryland after they won their first five. Louisville will really savor this, their first win of the year. Whistle away from the ball. Lancaster Gordon, an offensive screen. First foul on Gordon. Of course, there's a freshman mistake, and Denny Crum is going to send in a more experienced, although seldom used player, Greg Dozer, number 14 at guard. Dick, we didn't see him today, but the leading vertical leaper on the Louisville team is a freshman named Charles Jones, who is going to be a great, great player. He's injured and didn't play today. There's Derek Smith forcing another turnover with his hustling defense. 1.05 left. Well, Louisville caused havoc inside the Metro Cup. will be held here, so Louisville will have the advantage of the home court. 76-59, Eves with 13. Graham oh, what to a Buck glitch. Williams, and a foul. Dusser jumping inside. Okay, now the crowd's going to react. It's all over. They were all eating humble pie for the last two and a half, three weeks. Our most valuable player in a $1,000 scholarship, compliments of Chevrolet. Chevrolet MVP in this game, 
to Rodney McRae, the U.S. Olympian of 1980. He controlled the inside, and boy, it was a tough decision. In fact, if we ever came close to giving it to five players, this should have been it. There really wasn't a standout. It was just an outstanding team defensive show by this Louisville club. They've held a high-scoring Maryland team to 60 points and only 21 in the second half. Rebound King. Foul, Poncho Wright. The basket is good, and the foul on Wright. That's the first break he got in the shot all day. That's right. 76 to 62, the executive producer of NBC Basketball, Don Olmeyer, coordinating producer, George Finkel. Telecast of today's game was produced by George Finkel, directed by Ken Fouts, technical director, Bill Toby, associate producer, Peter Rolfe, associate director, Randy Wands. Last year, Louisville's record was 33 and three. So they've lost three, now they gotta win 33 <laughs> in a row <laughs> to tie last year. Want to thank our statistician, Tom Crawley, here in Louisville today. 40 seconds remain. 76-63. It's academic. Eves off the poncho right. Outside to Eves. He's played very well. He may be the key to their season. Eves, if he can become their floor leader. He's got to become a little bit more mentally tough. Marty Pulliam has it knocked away by Buck Williams. Williams one-on-one -on -one with Wright. Can't hit it. Graham can't hit it. Williams tips oh, it Oh, that should have been no basket. That was offensive goaltending. Let's see. Absolutely right. It should have been called, but I think the, the game's over and they let it go by. Lefty Drizel calls timeout with 16 seconds remaining. Here you go, see it right here. Buck Williams leaping again, touches the ball while it's on that in that cylinder. I wonder if uh, we would have time. I think there were some pertinent uh, games of last night that we might review gives us a chance to talk about some other teams as we look ahead to what's going to be a sensational season. First of all, a reminder, it's Seattle and San Diego. University of Virginia last night had a big win against Duke in an ACC game. Uh, we have the other scores for you. We'll run them down for you if we get a chance. Dick, you talked about, or Al just talked about Louisville. Have three, they have three losses and have to go the rest of the way without a loss. With that schedule that they've got, I would like to bet against Al on that one. Texas A&M, you know, they lost in overtime to Louisville on the way to the Cardinal Championship last year, won at Charlotte, and Brigham Young, a fine team, won again last night. Syracuse rated, beat Illinois State, Georgia, a close win over Tulsa. There's a, over Oklahoma State, Jerry Pim's team will be the next opponent of Louisville. That's the Oklahoma State team that, that beat. beat Louisville, so it's a small world. Oh, 16 uh -oh. seconds That's all she uh -oh. wrote. Oh, Pancho. Hey, gives it 360. He says, don't call me Pancho Carter. Same way when they asked his autograph, he signs, Buck never Williams. wrong, Pancho oh. right. At the buzzer, Buck Williams scores, and Louisville celebrates. They lost their first three to a powerful team, DePaul. Two upsets in Oklahoma, to Tulsa and Oklahoma State. But the Cardinals were all red and real today as they beat an undefeated Maryland team handily in the second half, 78 to 67. Dick Edberg, Al McGuire, Billy Packer, thank you for being with us. Stay tuned for NFL 80, followed by Seattle and San Diego football, next on NBC. This has been a presentation of NBC Sports. We're proud to bring you the best in sports television. Poland, the crisis intensifies. Labor unrest, broken promises, and Soviet troops on the move. Keep in touch with the latest from Poland.